Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be planning for the week of September 28th through October 4th and I should probably clarify that I'm going to be memory planning because this week is long over and I'm basically just going back in to journal what I've done. Um, so for this week I'm going to be using this kit from Happy Sherpa Paper Wee. I know we are in the fall season um, but I decided to use this really summery looking kit because I remember um, this week there was a heat wave here in Southern California. It was like in the 90s with some days even going into the hundreds. So it definitely didn't feel like fall at all around here. Um, so I didn't really feel like using one of my snuggly, cozy fall kits. It just didn't feel right. So I decided to use um, this very fun, summery, bright kit instead. And this kit is called Sunflower. It's from Happy Sherpa Paper Wee. And on this page, we have all of the full boxes. And the quote box here says, be someone sunflower sunshine when their skies are gray. We have a couple little um, add-on sheets, I think, and we've got these um, little things and then the date covers, date dots, and some icons. On this page, we have the bottom washi and some washi strips. We've got the headers, quarter boxes, half boxes, um, full box checklists on this page, and then we have some flags, some checklists, build do stickers, sidebar trackers, more quarter boxes, a weekend banner, and some circle icons. Um, this is a full kit from her shop and it is on a matte paper. So without further ado, I wanna go ahead and get started. I haven't planned in probably two weeks now. It's been a while. I've just had to take a little break because um, work has been super busy and um, just, you know, life things coming up. So anyways, I'm excited to get back into planning and um, I don't know. I just like love the feeling of laying down stickers. So honestly, I'm really excited about that. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in joining me, then stay tuned. As usual, I start by placing down the bottom washi, which is two different strips in this kit. And the bottom one with the sunflowers was a little bit too long, so I did have to trim it down um, so that it could fit in the bottom washi section of the Recollections Planner. While I'm working on my sidebar, I just wanted to apologize to you guys that it's been so long since I've posted a video. Um, like I said in my intro, work has been extremely busy these days. I'm staying at work almost nine to 10 hours every single day, which you know really cuts down the amount of time that I have to work on videos. And also some kind of exciting news. My boyfriend and I are in the process of buying a house. Um, we just started it a couple weeks ago, so we've been you know spending a lot of time looking at different houses and scheduling appointments to go see different places. So that has been really time consuming and, you know, just taking up a lot of time that I otherwise could be working on my videos. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a little update. I know you guys are always so understanding when I do have to take some time away from planning and I'm so grateful about that, but, um, I just kind of wanted to let you guys know what was going on. Um, so now that I've put down the sidebar, the happy moments and dinners headers are in my writing and it's from planner just for you. And I've also place down all the date covers and the date dots that came in the kit. Moving on to Monday, the glitter header that I just put down is from Mandy Dreams and all of the glitter headers that I used this week are from her shop. I then placed down a flag and a coffee cup sticker from the kit with a coffee Monday sticker from Planner Just For You to mark that I had some coffee on Monday morning, which I usually like to do. And Monday marked the first day that our school started opening up in person. We kind of took time opening up by grade level so that we weren't slammed with all the kids coming back the same time. And so to mark that we were starting the reopening process, I used a half box and that really cute pencil sticker is from Pretty and Prim Co. I then placed down a to-do header with a quarter box. That bow paper clip sticker, I believe, is from Mr. and Mrs. Mint. I used that to mark a testing appointment that I had on Monday, and then I placed down a full box underneath. At the very bottom, I used a little things with a three heart checklist that I cut up to mark some things that I did after work. Um, one of the things I did was check my PO box, so I pulled in this little mail icon, which I believe is from the kit. Moving on to Tuesday, I first placed down a today header and then I used a quarter box with this really hot munchkin sticker from Once More With Love to mark that the heat wave officially hit Southern California on Tuesday and it was so, so warm. Um, for part of the day, I had to work outdoors, so I was definitely experiencing the heat firsthand. Um, then underneath that, I used a pencil sticker from Nikki Plus Three to mark that on Tuesday, the kindergartners and the first graders returned to our school. Initially, I just wrote that on my planner, but I decided 
that I wanted to use a full box, so I lift up the pencil and place down a full box underneath it. I then started at the bottom so I knew how much space I had to work with. I first placed down a washi strip and then used a half box and a glitter header on top of that. In the remaining empty space in the middle, I placed down this IEP flag and that's from a shop. I think that's no longer open. Um, I got that like over a year ago and I just had those left over so I was able to pull that in. And then I had to drop off something at the UPS store. Um, so to mark that, I used this envelope sticker and that's from a shop called My PG Printables but I'm not sure if she's still open. On the half box, I marked that my friends and I did a Hamilton themed um, costume party and trivia via Zoom. And to mark that, I actually found this really fitting star sticker. It came in like this little sticker book that I had. Um, I think my friend got this for me years ago and um, I just remembered it. So I pulled in that little star sticker to mark the occasion. And then at the very bottom, I used this like Maru on fire sticker from Paper and Milk to mark the first presidential debate that happened that night. As I'm sure you guys already know it was just a total disaster and I don't even want to talk about it. Let's just leave it and move on to Wednesday. On Wednesday, I first placed down a full box and used a little things on top of that to cover up the gray header in my planner. Um, then I placed down the sleepy emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I had a lazy Wednesday night. The brush lettering pen that I'm using is from Pilot. It's definitely one of my favorite ones. And then I go ahead and move to the top of Wednesday. I first placed down a to-do header and then I used another hot munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that it was super hot on Wednesday again. And um, then I wanted to mark a morning meeting I had for work, so I used this little icon that came with the kit. I had an IEP meeting that afternoon, which I marked using a half box and another IEP flag that I had in my leftovers collection. Um, and then after work that day, I was so exhausted, I came home and I took a nap. So to mark that, I used a washi strip and the little sleeping mask sticker that I pulled in is from Laven Forest. I filmed a plan with me that night, so I decided to mark that using a quarter box and that adorable camera icon is from Happy Sherpa Papery. Moving on to Thursday, I first started by placing down my favorite full box at the very top. I love this one with a girl. I just think she's so elegant and her sunflower dress is adorable. Then underneath that, I used a Today header with a flag and another hot munchkin sticker from Once More With Love to mark that the heat wave was still going on even though Thursday was the start of October. Um, then underneath that, I used a phone icon from Bubba Bear Studios to mark calling a bunch of parents at work that day. I had a lot of things to follow up on. Um, then I used a little things from the kit to mark that I picked some fruits from our backyard. We have a few fruit trees back there. Then I placed down a glitter header with a quarter box and this really, really cute pumpkin mochi sticker is from Mochi Kichi. I used that to mark going to a pumpkin decorating party, which was really fun. I actually didn't participate in the decorating. Um, but I was just there to kind of hang out. And at the very bottom, I placed down a drink sticker. I think that's from Happy Sherpa Papery. And I just used that to mark having some drinks and chilling out with my friends that night. Moving on to Friday, the first thing I do is place down a glitter header at the very top. Then I wanted to mark the coffee I usually grab on Friday. So I decided to use a quarter box and a coffee sticker, which I believe is from Peanut Butter Taco. Underneath that, I used a flag with this little takeout sticker from Once More With Love to mark that I grabbed some takeout for lunch that day. And then I used a quarter box with another IEP flag to mark an IEP meeting that afternoon. I placed down a full box underneath that, but I do end up switching this out later on. Um, you'll see that in just a second. I then placed down a sushi sticker, but unfortunately I can't remember which shop that's from because I actually planned this a while ago. Um, so if I remember, I will try to put it on this screen. And then at the very bottom, I used a little things to mark the show that we watched that night. And I also used a puzzle sticker from Once More With Love to mark that I did some puzzling that night. This is where I decided to switch up the placement of my stickers. Um, so I decided to move the full box down a little bit because I wanted to put something um, towards the top of Saturday. And I don't usually like full boxes sitting right next to each other. I like spacing them out a little bit so it creates some balance. So I go ahead and just rewrite the sushi takeout on top of the full box. 
Moving on to the weekend, I first placed down some washi strips at the top, then I layered the Hello Weekend banner on top of that, and I love how it says Hello Weekend. I always think that's so creative and so cute. Um, then on Saturday, I first used a washi strip and a cleaning day sticker in my writing. That's from Planner Just For You. And I also used a vacuum sticker from Hello Petite Paper to mark that I did a lot of cleaning that morning. Um, then I used a full box with this munchkin, again, from Once More With Love. It's like a cooking munchkin to mark that I made some Korean noodles that day. Um, I also picked up some boba, so I used a boba sticker from Very Cute Designs because my friends were coming over to play some mahjong. To mark the mahjong, I used a half box and that sticker is from Hazel Sticker. It's so perfect and matches the spread so well because it's also green. And yeah, it was really fun getting to do that. Um, then at the very bottom, I used a glitter header with a taco sticker from Happy Blue Tree to mark that we grabbed some tacos and had some drinks and then watched um, what I believe is known as the worst movie of all time called The Room. Um, we decided to watch it as a joke and played a drinking game along with it, which made it a lot more bearable, but I'm pretty sure it lives up to its name because it was pretty bad. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. I don't know that I would recommend it unless you're drinking heavily. Um, but yeah, it was definitely an experience. Moving on to Sunday, I first started by placing down a full box at the bottom. That little strip of whiteout sticker I placed down is from Planner Just For You. She created these for me so I didn't have to struggle with whiting out the headers, which was so sweet of her. Um, then moving to the top of Sunday, I first placed down a half box and I used a sleep-in sticker from Toffee Bananas, or what used to be Toffee Bananas, I believe her shop name is Paper Shire now, and I used that to mark sleeping in on Sunday. I then worked on my puzzle for quite a bit that morning, so I used a glitter header with a quarter box. That puzzle sticker is from Planner Just For You. And then on Sunday, we went to check out some houses for the first time. This was kind of our first little step into home buying, and it's definitely very overwhelming. Um, for any of you who have gone through this process, I'm sure you understand. It's just like so much information to learn and so much adulting that I'm honestly not sure if I'm ready for, but um, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. This was kind of just the first step into that process. That house sticker is from Nicole Hutch Designs. And then I was so exhausted, I had to take a quick nap afterwards. The sleeping mask sticker is from a shop that I believe is no longer open. Um, and then underneath that, I used a little things to mark the show that we watched that night. That pretty much concludes my week, so I go ahead and move back to my sidebar. Um, I realized that I didn't put down the headers until right now, even though I had mentioned it earlier. So um, again, those are all from Planner Just For You. I'm now showing you the stickers that I have left in this kit, which is quite a lot because this is a very full kit. And as a white space planner, it's hard to use up a lot of stickers in a kit. So um, yeah, they will all be included in my leftovers giveaway. And now I'm just doing a walkthrough to show you guys all the details that's in this spread. I kind of just wanted to keep this spread really simple and really clean and um, I really like how it turned out in the end so I hope you guys like this as well and um, please let me know if you guys have any questions or um, anything that you want to share I know it's been a while since I've been on here I still have to respond to all my YouTube comments so I'll definitely be getting back to you guys on that I always like to respond even if it does take me a while I apologize and with that I think I'm going to conclude this video um, I miss you guys I hope you you guys are all doing well and as usual thank you so much for watching um, and I will talk to you guys next time bye